bovine tuberculosis is a disease primarily of cattle caused by a bacterium and that bacterium can infect not just cattle but also crucially people and a variety of wildlife species including badgers and there's also evidence that badgers can become infected and transmit that infection back to cattle and so that's how it becomes an issue for wildlife as well as livestock and people. Well my first experiences with bovine TB was probably six seven years ago and I had a bull well he, he proved positive and some of my cows got TB and they had to be disposed of and that nearly about put me off keeping cattle for the rest of my life so we had to look for an option and I spoke to some of the neighbouring farmers and I got 18 or 20 of us together and we had a meeting with the Wildlife Trust and the Zoological Society of London. The project was started by a group of local farmers. They wanted to take action against bovine TB but they were uncertain about whether to take part in a cull which was starting up at the time. So we ended up delivering the project as a group, so the farmers, Kawada Trust and LSL. The absolute heart of it is the badger vaccination. So that just involves setting cage traps in places where badgers are going to encounter them and then each of those badgers that is caught is vaccinated against bovine TB and we repeat that on each property every year. I think we've had three main findings. Badger vaccination is, was a practical thing that was realistic to do. We estimated that we caught about three quarters of the badgers that were present. The second finding was that indeed it did seem to be making a difference. At the start of the project we had about 16% of badgers tested positive for TB and by the end none of the badgers that we caught tested positive. And the third thing was that it was acceptable to farmers. The farmers here really embraced this approach and were willing to give it a try. They were really, really glad that they'd taken that approach and were very keen to continue. I sleep better at night knowing that people are out there trapping and vaccinating rather than I would people out there trapping and culling. As for the badgers, done a good job for them and hopefully that converts to the cattle and we as a group are very happy with the way results are going at the moment. We can see that it's it's been valuable work to do in terms of providing evidence for any alternatives to culling badgers and obviously with a change of government that's going to be more and more relevant. What we need next is to tr see if we can replicate this at a larger scale. And I think the farmers here have done really a fantastic job paying for the vaccination themselves. If we want to eradicate TB, then transitioning to vaccination is a really, a really logical next step to take. I really hope that these results will help encourage other farmers and policymakers to engage with this as a, as a way forward.